Okay, so this is basically what lockup looks like. So I've got my chase, and I've got my text block, and in this case, my image block. So again, the goal, we're gonna print this. The text block will be here on the front, and this image of the muse sitting on top of the books, which feels appropriate to me for our class, will be on the back. Now, you'll notice that I insert this furniture. I don't have to fill every space here. It's not, I don't have to completely fill the chase. I just have to have furniture to apply pressure against the text block, uh, both horizontally and also vertically, right? And I have my coins. So these are little mechanisms that uh, when I turn, they expand slightly and then they exert pressure. So I basically, I fill the furniture in, I don't squeeze it in, I fill it in until it's full, but not um, straining. And then I bring my key, key looks like this, it inserts here, and I tighten. Now I don't, I'm not gonna tighten until it's like stressing the type and you know, actually like squeezing it. I just tighten it until you know, the furniture is exerting pressure, and if everything is well composed, and we'll see how it goes, I should be able then to lift it, and you see this is still, you know, technically loose type. It's only being held into the frame by pressure at this point, but I can pick it up. I could even turn it all the way around, and you can see the back of it, right? Now, you will not be responsible for figuring all of this out when you come in. I'll have a template set up that basically will take care of the horizontal uh, uh, furniture and spacing. But the text blocks you compose will be of different widths, right? Some of you will compose more or less, and so you will have to help me figure out the, uh, the vertical furniture that's required to sort of fill in the puzzle and then we will lock everything up and put it on the press. And that's going to be the next step here. We're gonna print this page.